Hey y'all, this is Jerry here again with you, Country Folks 100. Uh, this week what we're going to be doing is uh, doing a little bit of coon hunting tonight. Uh, we're going to take uh, Slick down there to our same woods where we've been squirrel hunting, uh, which is also like where we've been deer hunting a lot at lately. And we noticed on the trail cameras that the uh, there was a bunch of coons down there this year uh, in our corn piles and stuff. So we're going to take him uh, around in some of those areas and just let him go and see if we can tree any down there. If we do tree any, we'll probably go ahead and try to, try to harvest those because uh, they've been eating all of our corn. So we're going to try to get them out of the area. All right, so y'all stay tuned and uh, we'll go down there here in a little bit and see if we can uh, tree any. All right, Slick, you think you'll be able to tree a coon? Think you can do it? We're gonna try it. I think you got it in you. All right, we got a big rain coming in later tonight and it should be 100% chance of rain all day tomorrow. So this will be my last chance to do anything for a little while. And what my strategy is uh, using this dog is to go down to this deer hunting spot where we've got corn out and stuff and let him out but we're going to go on up there pretty close in the truck uh, a lot of times those uh, coons will just run up a tree that's pretty close to the bait piles and not want to leave it at least that's that's what I'm hoping they could do Try to get him over here to where this corn pile is. Evan had sent me a trail cam picture on my phone earlier. There was some deer and one big boar coon that was in the corn pile, so maybe they're still down here. I guess, I guess he's at that big tree there. Let's go over here and see. See, there's the, the bait pile over that way. He's up there, boy. All right, I just spotted him. I don't know if I can see anything with this camera or not. I guess he's in here. All right, we're gonna try to take him down. Slick. You ready? Here it comes. Oh my gosh. Dad, get on it. Oh god.
<laughs> that was insane. <laughs> I just I just shot him and uh, he came out of the tree, hit the ground, and came my way. I had to jump out of his way. Uh, he was a big boar coon and uh, he ran right past me, ran down here into this area and he just got past us. He, uh, the dog was on him for a minute right in here and then he just got away from us. I don't know, I know he didn't have time to go up a tree. He had to stay on the ground. Oh man, that made me nervous. All right, we got slick back. He went down here. I could tell he was baying it because that, uh, I heard him squeal out one time like that thing bit at him or something. But uh, I got slick back. He looks all right, so I hope he's okay. Looks like he is. But I think he's, uh, that coons gave us a slip. I can't, I can't find him. All right, y'all. We uh, made it back up here to the truck, and uh, I'd like to have a big uh, boar coon laying out here on the tailgate, which we should have, but uh, everything went to plan on that whole deal, except for me. I dropped the ball on that one. Uh, I hit the coon probably at least three times with the 22, and he finally fell out, ran out right past me, and uh, at that point, I was just trying to get out of the way, and... Uh, Slick caught him at one point there on the ground until he realized how big that thing was, and uh, he wisely let him go. I was glad he did. I didn't want to lose my squirrel dog to a big boar like that. And he tracked him on down to the property line, and he bait him up again, and I heard Slick squeal out one time like he had got bit. I don't see anything on him that looks like he may have got bit, but I, I know he bit him somewhere. And, uh, and Slick at that point had done had enough. He kind of came back where I was at. And so the coon got away. So, and he's, he's over there on another property that you know, I don't have the right to hunt on. So I had to go ahead and put him on the lead before uh, something got started again. But uh, that, was, that was exciting. I hadn't went coon hunting in a long time. And, uh, so you know, it was neat to do that again, but as you could tell by me messing around, blundering around down here in the woods, you could tell I hadn't done it in a long time. But, uh, oh well, we just mainly trying to get the coons out of the corn piles anyway, so uh, I, I would like to have went ahead and dispatched that coon a lot quicker than that. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's real life stuff here, you know. It wasn't nothing scripted, so... All right, well, I'll sign off for now, and uh, I appreciate y'all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you would. I'd appreciate it. And uh, let me know if if you think we ought to try to come back down here again or just leave these old uh, raccoons alone down here. All right, uh, y'all, we'll see y'all again next time. <laughs>